with the right type of pace. You don't need to trace, cause I got no grace up in the space. I got no pace. I need the space. It's just a tip of the iceberg. Before I will drop the main bomb on you tonight, I would like to share a few things about my life with you. You know, people see me today, everybody wants to hail me. I'm a star, I'm a celebrity. I know who I am. Forget the word celebrity. It's unfortunate I can't hide away from it. But I want you to know that I am Harry B. That's who I am. I. And that's who I'm living like. So, but I want you to know today, mark out today, always show love to one another. Show love. Because if I can turn my story to glory, you cannot allow your life to be blurry. Because the life we live is like a myth. But it is up to you to try to demystify life so that you can find your comfort zone. Everybody's a hustler. It depends on what you do. So whatever you find as your domain, my brother, don't you ever feel no pain. Brother, if you wake up and drink some champagne, so you can ride the D train. Go see Mr. Wayne. Fuck up Mr. T-Pain after the rain and that's my game right so i went through some kind of painful period in my life about two and a half years back i'm not a criminal i'm an actor but i live in a place called 042 enugu cold city that's where i was born and raised up but anyone that knows me very well to be able to tell my story. But thank God, I turned it to glory. Because I want all of you to know that no matter the race you find yourself, no matter the journey you get back on, don't you ever give up. It's not how many times you fall, but how many times you're able to get up each time you fall. And always remember that you are somebody. That is the spirit. Forget about what your friend will tell you. Forget about what your father, your mother will tell you. Fine. But it's up to you to know that it is your prerogative. It is your sole prerogative to do what the fuck you want to do. Excuse my French. I have to use that. So, don't let nobody tell you what to do. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it. You know you can because together we stand stronger than ever. So my people, please, show some love. I went to broke a fight between two people. One of them happened to be my friend who came back from the States and we were just lounging and having a good time. It's not like I was drunk. And so, suddenly something started happening outside. We all went out there to know what is happening. It happened that somebody sat on my friend's car this is something you don't do in America, unfortunately, but this is not America. And that's where my friend is wrong. So, 
Where he got angry is that when he approached the young man and said, yo, nigga, get your ass off my car. So the dude was like, oh, I mean, you speak all this grammar because you, you pack for two. So he got angry and whooped this nigga. Like, when I say whoop, beat him so fucking bad. So nigga made a phone call and called all his boys who are into whatever they belong to. Calls, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So the whole place was littered with all kinds of strange young faces and shit. And this was happening 11 December 2015. I just came out to have a good time, man. Everybody was having that Christmas feeling. And I was feeling that way too. But I never knew my life was not going to be a funny one. A very ugly one. So in the midst of all of this, there were some pushing around and shoving and, you know, people started stepping on people's toes and I felt it was time for me to get the fuck out of there. But I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. So, one thing led to another. Before I know it, I was caught with an axe on my right leg. And I shouted. When I shouted, everybody disappeared. I was left probably to die, but God sent an angel. Thanks to my friend, my brother from another mother. His name is OK. When he heard my voice, I don't want to get emotional tonight. When he heard my voice, he said, yo, is that Uncle Harry? I said, yes. I said, OK, please come up, die. I said, okay, I'm dying. I'm dying. But I don't want to die. I don't want to die. And that's what I kept saying. I said, I'm not going to die. I wouldn't die. And I was calling with my ass to get to my car. Fortunately, okay, took me to the hospital. When we got to orthopedic, the whole place was locked up. We had to break the window for me to get inside. We had to force a nurse to get up. My boy had to put on an apron, become a nurse, just to save my life. And then, after I went through all the surgeries, I'm lying down on my bed, and then I asked myself, what did I do? What was my crime? Or is it that I will bleed my pride, that I can't rhyme? So my head was just popping up and down and asking questions which nobody has given me an answer. But you know what? I believe in God. I pray to God to do things for my, for my life. Restore my leg. Heal me fast. Let me get back to my winning ways. And God did it for me. So I'm trying to teach tonight. I have forgiven. Whoever that hurt me, that cut my leg, whoever that did it to me, I'm forgiving you. Because if I did not, God will not heal me. I will not be standing before you tonight. Okay? That's why I say we must show some love. Just excuse my emotions tonight. I'm sorry. I'm only human. Okay? Every time I share this, I tend to get this way. I'm not acting. So? So let me stop the rhetoric and get into the remember business tonight. I'm going to drop a little bit of rhyme for you, what I'm known for. You know when they call me, I be the man with a pet green. Yeah, it, ha it has a root. But tonight I'm just going to rhyme a little song for you to get off the stage. Excuse my emotions, I'll say one more time. Alright, they call me Harry B. The man with a pedigree. I'm no more hanging up with three or waiting on my second degree. You might as well forget my PhD because I won't give it to you free. I'm still the same old G as you can see. Ain't nobody out here just like me. You come with your teeth, you don't see me. I ain't no mama G or Maggie T, not even a Terry D. I'm the nigga from the hood, 042. You said I ain't no good, but I went back to school, and I did pretty good. Now I'm back to the hood, but check this out. Flavor is my neighbor, Fino, the brother to Dino. My home is Zoro, took away my Zoro. Now I don't have to borrow, but I'm down with Nollywood. That's what's up. That's what's up, yeah. I still got some stuff for you, man. I'm not just going to drop on the wall and get off the stage. So, so like I said, I'm having fun doing what I'm doing. Y'all might see me. I'm not a rich guy, but I'm, I 
I'm a jolly good fellow. All right? Put in your face with the right type of pace. You don't need to trace, because I got the race up in the street. I got no case. Nigga, fuck the police, fuck the case, fuck the game, fuck the fame. What's my motherfucking name? That's, that's, that's what's up, yeah. That's what's up, yeah. You see, check this out. I saw my brother from another mother in the same game. They call him a but I'm going to kill that nigga, though. That nigga ain't shit, man. Yo, that's like my son. But that nigga's a badass song. And so I'm looking now how I fat. Not even one time. In a month or two. And then every time I come up in here, he wants to act like, yo, we all that cool. Nigga, we ain't cool, straight up. I'm gonna tell you right now. We ain't cool, man. I'm up in your ass right now, for real. You know what I mean? Okay. Alright, my people. I'm just another black man. I'm caught up in the mix. I'm trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. I love it when a woman is scared to do a thing, sitting on the bus stop, sucking on a lollipop. Now, what you hear is not a tech. It's how it be. I'm rapping to the beat. I'm about to move your feet, so nigga, let's take it to the street so you can feel my heat, because I got the motherfucking beat. <laughs> All right, Mr. NC, it's been so lovely, it's been so wonderful to share with you people tonight. Like I said before, please forgive me for my emotions. But remember, I am only human. Okay? I love a oh, good night. Thank you. Good morning.